Hey guys, welcome to my home. Follow me. <laughs> the kitchen is one of my favorite rooms in the house, actually. Um, sadly, I spent a lot of time here, and before you got here, I was just in the middle of making a drink. Um, it's summertime, so just like a little summer cocktail. Um, so while we're in here, I'll give you a little tour of the kitchen. First, I want to talk about we talk about flowers. I'm obsessed with flowers. I will go to the farmer's market, I'll go downtown to the flower market and get flowers all the time. I'll have anybody send me flowers, I love them so much. And this is like the coolest spot in the house, I feel like, to have roses. Um, so they just kind of stay, actually they've probably been in for about two weeks now, so you can see they're starting to wilt a little bit, but they're still looking really nice. Okay, so let's talk about the stove for a second. I'm obsessed with the stove. It's got two ovens so you can cook and bake at the same time, which if I'm ever having people over, I love to do. And I'm also like crazy obsessed about this cast iron pan. Everybody needs one. Breakfast, lunch, dinner in the oven on the stove. Love it, it's amazing. Um, oh, and if you know me, if you've been following me for a while, I love my Little Magic Bullet. Um, it's just super easy like to make smoothies and juices on the go when I'm shooting, when I have castings. Um, just to get out the house, even just for breakfast as a substitute. It's really, really yummy. But also on the flip side, I guess we could talk about <laughs> my little half cinnamon roll that's left. I love sweets, God. Sometimes I just bake cakes just to have them in the cake pan, just for looks, just for aesthetics, just because I like it. Um, but recently I've been eating these cinnamon rolls, so don't judge me, but they're really good. And of course, you guys, they lived happily ever after. And okay, let's talk about money shot, I guess. Everybody wants to see what's inside the fridge. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh, yes. Okay, you guys, so I grew up drinking a lot of juice, and every time we go to the store, I have to get as many juices as possible. This is strawberry lemonade, but I'll do like fruit punch. This is peach one. I'll do orange juice. Love apple juice. And actually the other day, um, who doesn't love a good sale? But the other day I was at the store, and they had these little palm juices for sale. I think it was like 10 for $10. So I had to get 10 of them. I never really drink them, but I wanted to try it. And they're just really good. They're really um, easy. I'll take them on the go before I go to a job or something. And they're really good. Oh, and you've got to have, either have croissants, biscuits, or cinnamon rolls. Because it's like, these you can do for breakfast, you can do for dinner. Um, any kind of snack. If it's like midnight snack and I'm hungry, I throw that in there. And I love having fresh veggies because... You can put that in anything, I can put that in pasta, I can put that in rice, but I also really like making vegetable tacos. So I will throw that in some veggie tacos and that'll be really, really good. And there was the alarm. So you know the fridge has been open for too long. So if anybody ever comes over and they don't close the fridge right away, I'll know right away. Freezer. Oh, this is like when I do my smoothies. I buy the fruit and then I will put the fruit in the freezer so it stays fresher longer. And then I'll take it out like a minute or two before I make the smoothie. So it gets a little bit less frozen and I can throw that into the smoothie. And this is my favorite ice cream. Yes, strawberry ice cream with preserves. You can taste a little bit of strawberry in it. Okay, so this is the little mini bar area. Got the, the mini sink if you wanna put ice in here, clean any cups. Um, and this is actually where I put all the alcohol. I got the wine glasses and the shot glasses, a little champagne, a little bit of uh, a little tequila. <laughs> and this is kind of where, if I'm ever entertaining, if I have some people over for a movie night or dinner or something, um, you know, we can make some shots, we can make some drinks and have a good little time. And this is my little guest bathroom. I actually love the decor in here. I love this bulb light. I love these lights up here. I love the sink, and I actually really love seeing the piping, when the piping is really cool. Um, I've done shoots in this bathroom before too, because the light is just kind of moody and intimate. So, we're going to go into the living room now, slash dining room entertainment area. Dining area, whenever I have parties, birthday parties, dinner parties, holiday parties, I did my birthday party here last year, or this year I did my birthday party here. Um, right now it's just like some candles and a little bit of decor. And I have this really great picture that I love. Um, Gia Photo did this artwork for me, and she with him a lot. But this dress was red, and my hair was blonde hair. So this in black and white with some accents of color look really, really cool. I love it by the window, so it's really good light. 
This is my cute little dining table that I got from Target. <laughs> I've had this table forever, you guys. But I also never really sit here unless it's for entertaining. But it fills the space up perfectly, I think, with like the stained glass. I got that on Craigslist, the antique section. Um, so it all has kind of come together really in this corner. I think it's just really, really pretty. Okay, guys, so this is the living room area. I was originally hoping for like a French theme. So I have like the antique French map over here that's been really nicely framed. I added this piece on top of the fireplace. I love having a fireplace when it's cold in the winter. It's just like, I love lighting this up, watching a movie, having some hot chocolate, and it's really, really amazing. Even lighting these candles is really nice. Um, I like like the really kind of bright but warm, homey feel. There is, um, this is the entertainment center. So during the day, I'll watch, obviously, movies on the TV, but at night, um, when the glare from the window isn't happening, this is when I'll put the projector down and we'll watch movies on the projector and it's amazing, especially when you have people over. It is just like, it's like watching an actual movie at the movie theater, but in the comfort of room. Um, ever since I moved into this place, I wanted to decorate it, but not super expensive. And I found this, this tapestry um, in like the valley. I think it was in like Sherman Oaks or something. And this lady sold it for me for like nothing it was amazing. But that continues like the French theme and I have, um, you know, that big lantern over there. And I've got this um, nice little room divider by the window here. I love sitting on this couch, like right in the middle on this couch and I just watch a movie and my life is complete. And it's really, really wonderful and amazing. Okay, so let's go to the patio. Okay, so here we are outside. And once again, antiques. I love this out here. Got this table in prints looks amazing. I love having breakfast out here. I love having dinner out here on a warm night. Especially breakfast, actually, is probably my favorite time. I just sit out here and it's really nice to get to see the flowers over there. It's the springtime. It's so much green and so many trees. One of my favorite spots. Is so we're going upstairs now. And this is technically three floors, so downstairs is the garage, this way. Um, this, once again, you guys, you know I've been talking about Craigslist all day. Uh, I got this really cool looking wine rack. <laughs> There's no wine in there now. <laughs> but whenever I fill this up, it just looks really great with a bunch of like really yummy wines in there. So, one of my favorite photos or even artwork in general that I have in this house is the kiss. Obviously, um, I really just went on Amazon and bought a large <laughs> version of it so I can put it on this wall. And it's just so beautiful, it adds color um, to the space and it's so pretty, I love looking for the morning. Okay, so another one of my favorite pieces in the house is this beautiful big clock. I feel like it kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, and every time I post a photo about it or something, that's what people say. But I absolutely love it. It is a working clock, I just haven't fixed the time yet, but it does work. This is the glam room. I love having a space where I can just get ready, um, I have all the makeup over here, I have all my hair stuff. This is a mess because Lord knows I'll probably never get through all the jewelry, but that's where all the jewelry is. You know, on one side I love having like the long dresses, the kind of gowns or the summery dresses. And on this side I've got like the shorter, kind of sexier, you know, kind of nighttime vibes. These are all like crops that I've got my workout clothes and everything in there. I used to put shoes up here, but I decided to put that in a different room so they're not there anymore. But yeah, every time I feel like I don't have anything to wear, it's hilarious. Because <laughs> then I look at these closets and I'm like, oh wait, I forgot about this. Or, oh wait, I forgot about that, I can wear this. So I probably don't need any more clothes for the rest of my life. But you ladies, you already know, you can never have too many clothes, you can never have too many shoes. But I am running out of space, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do to clear up some space. But this is just one of the closets, and then I'll be able to show you the next actual closet right next to us. So come on. So this is actually what used to be the guest room and nobody slept over so I decided to get rid of the guest bed and make this into a proper closet. I've been doing laundry so forgive me because there is a lot of <laughs> clothes that I haven't been able to put away quite yet. But I got these racks at Ikea you guys, I mean, you know, I lay my shoes out here. When this is cleared, I'll just 
lay on this, and um, just kind of hang out in front of the mirror and just like relax and think about what I'm going to wear. This is another guest bathroom, but this is a full bath, whereas downstairs was not a bath. So this has the shower, this has the bathtub. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the real magic happens, in the game room. So I've been playing games for a very, very, very long time. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I am a major nerd. I love video games. PlayStation is my jam. Um, you know, I went all out with this room as much as I could. I got the chair, um, I got some games, I just got the new God of War game. This is amazing. And, you know, I got my mic for my streaming. This is the computer screen, this is the TV screen. Got the camera, got my headphones, <laughs> I got my hard drive. Everything that I could possibly need for this room is really, really amazing. I really love it here. And then, it's really nice because the light is really nice. I love having my posters here from all the games that I'd love to play. I could talk about Laura Croft all day. She's my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite. Now we're gonna go into the bedroom, so follow me. I have never had a king bed before. breakfast here, watch a movie, just relax. Oh my god, in the daytime this is so comfortable, so much fun, so relaxing. One of my favorite, favorite places is just laying on the bed, <laughs> hanging out. We've got more stained glass over here. I bought so many stained glass pieces from this house in Malibu. I wanted to make sure I put it to use as much as possible. So this, I mean, you know, really bright when the sun comes in just brightens up really nicely. Here's another patio that's parallel to the one downstairs. I love this wooden sliding door. It used to have a regular bathroom door, but they changed it and kind of customized it to make it really kind of funky and cool and warm. I love this. Look how cool this is, you guys. So we're gonna go into the magic bathroom. This is my favorite bathroom, so let's go. This is Probably my all-time favorite bathroom that I've ever had in my life, probably ever will have. I love this bathroom so much. So it even has a steam shower. So sometimes, like, if I've worked out, if I've had a long week, if I want to clear my skin, I can go in there and turn that steam shower on, close this all up, and you can just sit on the ledge and kind of meditate and be in your own thoughts. And this is Toto, <laughs> the toilet. You guys, it's actually called Toto. I've never had one of these before, but I've seen it multiple times. Oh, see, it's very sensitive. You already started brushing. <laughs> this is, I think, one of those, what, Japanese toilets that, like, warms your butt and a little bit, like, weird, kind of uncomfortable, awesome stuff with the jets and everything. It's really, really great. Now having one, considering I've never had one in my life, and this is my first time having one, I need to have at least one of these in my house forever for the rest of my life because now I'm obsessed. And now we are going to go to my little garden area. Again, it's such a beautiful day. So nice and clear. But also don't judge me, you guys. <laughs> I have so much work to do out here. I am recruiting some friends to come by this weekend so we can really jazz this place up. Um, that's the jacuzzi over there and you guys you already know this bench I got on Craigslist. Are you surprised? It's actually really comfortable. Um, when it's not too hot out here, I will come out and have breakfast out here. I have these tea lights up here, so at night I can have a glass of wine and relax and then wine and just be in my own space. It's all fully covered, so nobody can see anything. I'm in my own privacy. It's really amazing. I've got. Cool. I'm gonna work on this garden. Actually, it's funny because I recruited some friends to come by this weekend. To help me really jazz this garden up, I just want to add in a lot more flowers, just make it super, super lush now that it's spring and summer's coming up. I think afterwards it's going to look even more bright and colorful and really, really pretty and just make this like an absolute dream. Alright guys, so I've shown you my house, 
And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm realizing that I actually have a lot to do, <laughs> especially in the garden area. So I love you so much, but you gotta get out of here because I have a ton of work to do. Maybe even do like a little garden party or something once it's all put together. Thank you for coming by. I love you all. I'll see you again very soon. Okay, seriously, get out. Bye. <laughs>